Hey Nimtax and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My PC. AMD Dual Graphics, especially with the Radeon Software Crimson Edition latest driver, is been a nightmare for a lot of you guys. What's the problem? You can't find the enabling option of Dual Graphics. Rightly so, because AMD has not, to my knowledge, included Dual Graphics as an option in their latest driver. The reason for which still baffles me, but more on that later. Now for now, as you can see, I have still got enable AMD Dual Graphics in mind, and uh, the software I'm using right now is the AMD Catalyst Software Suit, and the hardware I've got an APU A86500, which gives me graphics on the chipset of HD 8570D, and my graphics card is the ASUS 1 gigabyte DDR5 HD 6670. So bear that in mind for later. And let's go to the download section of AMD's website. And that's where you need the driver. Now, first one on top left is the automatically detect and install your driver. You do not want this because I believe the default will give you the Crimson Edition driver, which you do not want. Instead, you can do one of two things. You can go to the right side where it says latest AMD drivers and software and select the graphics card for your configuration. My one is in this little box here which is the HD 6670 and I can just right click on 64 bit open link a new tab and uh, pops your uncle catalyst software suit the first one which is what you want so go ahead and click on download and uh, but don't install it just yet bear in mind the bottom one which is the Radeon software crimson edition beta I did try that just for you guys download and install it and it crashed my system three times so we forget this anyway I don't believe this has the dual graphics option enabled let's go back to the download driver the second way you could actually get your driver would be to do the manually select your driver it's just below this one so manually select your driver input your details mine is the APU and uh, desktop APU S step three would be HD 8000D series and uh, my Windows 1064 bit display results and hopefully that should give us both the there you go Catalyst Software Suit and Radeon Software Crimson Edition so ignore the second bottom one select this one now guys there is a method to uninstalling uh, your current driver to reinstall the proper driver you're after I'm gonna link you all the websites in the description below um, this Tom's hardware article is quite interesting and uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to your system settings so click on the start menu button go to settings and go to apps and features in the search button you may want to type in AMD and up will pop up all your drivers to do with AMD so try to uninstall them through this first if that fails, you could always go to, again, this link below in the description to the AMD Clean Uninstall Utility and use this, download and install that, and that should install, uninstall all your current drivers. And the third thing you're going to need is this Display Driver Uninstaller. Again, if you follow this article, it's going to explain how to do this, but generally you should download and install this you should extract it in the folder and reboot your system and log into a safe mode and from there uninstall the rest of the current drivers okay if you have issues with this as usual let me know in the comment section below i'll do a tutorial on how to do that but i'm pretty sure you guys are savvy enough to do that let's go back to the downloads uh, website for the drivers from AND. now that was the good news here's the bad news I was twinking around and I found out that there are some configurations above mine. So let's say, for example, you have the A10 7850K with the R7, I believe it's R7 250 discrete graphics card pairing. Now, we can check first in this, what, where is the R7 250? That'll be in, in this little selection. In this one, if you right click on 64 bit for Windows 10, Unfortunately, you do not get the Catalyst Software Suit that we're after. Instead, the Crimson Edition still pops up. Again, that's, not, that's nonsense. Similar, if you do the same thing for manually select your driver and you want to select the R7 graphics and Windows 10 
64-bit and makes no difference whether it's Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, you are still not going to get the Catalyst software suit. And again, you're getting the Crimson Edition. Now, guys, this, I have no idea why AMD is doing this. And I have no clue what to say to you. We will follow this up if after you download the software suit and try to install and try to enable your graphics and you're still unsuccessful obviously following the steps i told you in both my previous videos then we are going to take this up with amd in the meantime do let me know down below how successful you've been and if you have any more queries drop me a line i shall try to respond as always guys it was a pleasure this was ash from here my pc don't forget to subscribe and until next time Peace out.